When you've been married for a long time, you can look at the partner's face, whoever your partner is, and say, well, I'm saying something right now that either you're not getting or I'm exhausting you or, or you're not following what I'm saying or, I mean, it can be anything, right? But you know this about your partner because you've been with them a long time. Like you can look at them and go, okay, something's not connecting here right now, right? I have this thing where when I talk, I have this thought and then I build on the thought and then I build on the thought and then I come back to the thought, the, the second thought, which eventually ties back to the first thought. Listening to me can be exhausting because I don't necessarily stay on this exact same thread, right? I don't have one bubble of thought and then finish that and then go to the next bubble of thought. It can be very exhausting to try and hold mental structures for me. And I know that. So I was just having a conversation with my wife today where I was talking about this thing and then building on it with this thing because it's all connected. And I've got this other thing and then I'm going to come back to this concept and then I'm come back to this thing. And I'm about here, right? I'm about ready to come back to this first point. And my wife, I can just tell, just looking at her face, is like, oh my gosh, just make the point. And it's fascinating to me in that the thought process, a couple of things are fascinating about that. One, that you can see that in a partner if you're paying attention. And number two, I walked away from that conversation initially a little bit frustrated, right? It's like, what? Ugh. I was getting there. Just, you know, hang in there for a second. Also though, it's very interesting because the whole point of relationship is to amplify the human experience, right? That's the whole point we have relationships is to amplify our experience. So I'm in this conversation with my wife. I'm walking away like, ah, it shouldn't be this hard to communicate, right? I'm having this frustrated moment. And then I'm thinking, no, the whole point of relationship is to amplify the human experience. So if you walk away from a conversation frustrated, maybe think back through the conversation and go, what was it? What is it about this conversation that's frustrating me? Is it an opportunity for me to refine my process? Is it an opportunity for me to change the way I'm communicating so that somebody can understand me better? She wants to understand me. She wants to be there to listen. She is fully there, fully engaged, and I'm making it hard for her to follow my complicated thought process. The whole point of what she is there to help me do is to reflect back to me. Perhaps there's a clearer way to not only think through this, but also a clearer way to talk about it. I don't know if this helps you in a conversation you've had today, but think about this in context of your relationships, and it may be something that's assistive for you as well. If it is assistive, please feel free to make a comment. I would love to hear about that, and I hope you're having a great day. Thank you very much. There you go. That is the end of this video. You can check out some of these other videos, or if you want, you can go check out our new community. As of this video, it's a brand new community, the communal individual. Otherwise, check out one of these other videos. I hope you enjoy a fantastic day. Thanks so much for watching.